Hello, welcome back. Uh, for this bit to make more sense for you, you need to have seen the, the videos that precede it. Otherwise, you'll wonder what some of this is about. Toward the end of the forthcoming video, I refer to a process called befriending a beetle. Slowly sinking down and squeezing a beetle. And the beetle I'm going to select for this small demo is my right beetle because I want my skis to carry me around to my left, which would be to your right. So I'm going to sweep round that way. In order to do that, I need to give some preference to my right hand beetle. And in order to do that, I need to take some part of my mass and place it over the beetle. Physics demands that. The way you normally see this demonstrated is folk will say, well, you need to lean over onto that, onto that foot to squeeze that beetle. Well, no, you don't. That's exactly the opposite of what you need to do. That's the equivalent of asking Usain Bolt when he's going around the bend in the 200 meters to lean out as he does it, as he runs around that way. He doesn't do that, he leans that way. So the way to do it is this, and if you get, if, if you become very expert at doing this precisely, it will make such a fantastic difference to your skiing. So here we go. Here I am, I've already adopted a good ready for action posture. My hands are long, wide, my ankles are flexed, my knees are flexed, my, I'm flexed at the, at the hips. I've got my tummy tucked in and I've got my back leaning forward and rounded. All I now need to do is this. I need to place my head over the beetle I want to give some preference to. Nothing more than that. A very slight twist of the torso to place my head over that. Now look what happens. This is what, these are the good points that happen. Watch my left hip. As I do that, it does two things. Number one, it moves inboard of what will become the forthcoming arc, moves inboard of it, and it also advances slightly ahead of the outside hip. My shoulder advances slightly ahead of my outside shoulder, and my inside hand moves slightly ahead of my outside hand. That posture, sweeping round the arc with your left, with the inside half of your body, if you see what I mean, the, the part of the half of your body that's on the inside of the arc, leading, having that leading like that. I've got my head over my beetle, I'm looking around the arc I'm going to make, and that's the position I want to adopt. Now, obviously, it's going to be a lot easier to do when you're in your bedroom and you're practicing this in front of your full-length mirror than it's going to be when you're on the slope. But the more you practice that, the more you get in front of your bedroom mirror and you get that feeling and you can feel a little extra pressure under your right-hand beetle, under your right-hand big toe, then the more easily you'll be able to do it when you get on the slopes. And it will make a phenomenal difference to the quality of your skiing and your feeling of stability as you go around the arc. I do heartily recommend that you give this some worthwhile amount of practice. Hope you enjoy it. It'll take you a long way.